The first time I went to the Met Ball, I had to host it, which was terrifying. I think that was the first time. Hi Vogue, I'm Sienna Miller and I am on my way to the Met Ball. Ah. It's always a bit stressful. I'll push it in. You've nailed it. Well, is that in the parting? Yes. Is right. that too far down for you, and Wendy, wow. <laughs> I think most people know what the Met Ball is, but for those who don't, it is the Costume Institute Gala that Anna Winter began 27 years ago, it might be. It raises money for the Costume Institute, so it's an incredibly glamorous event. See, it takes a village. It's been hours, <laughs> hours. Oh my goodness. My beauty team, this is Mr. Earl Sims, the world's Hi. greatest hairdresser, <laughs> stylist, and this is Madame Wendy Rowe, Hi. extraordinary makeup artist. And um, I'm wearing Charlotte Tilbury makeup, which is, which is wonderful because A, the makeup's sublime, but B, it's my friend's makeup line. This look came together really with my friend who styled me, who's extraordinary, Alistair Mackey, who's just a legend in the fashion world and doesn't really often do people. He does really cool shoots. So I feel like it's a bit of a coup that I've got Ali to help create. So this look is a Gucci, Gucci kind of nod to Carl because it's black and it's feathery. And then we've obviously added the pearls, which is very Carl, some Gucci, slightly bondagey Carl-esque gloves. Um, my amazing hair and makeup team have done an extraordinary job. And so we always get creative. There's not, we, we kind of plan it, don't we, before, but we don't really. Whatever we say well, we're gonna do. But it changes, but changes. We're yeah. very flexible, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very it sort of comes together in the room. I know that there are people who get ready for the Met Ball and actually test the look with a shoot not us. So this year's theme, it's honoring Karl Lagerfeld and the extraordinary work that he did. And it's amazing to look at the legacy of that man and the amount of work and the kind of canon of work, the amount of places that he designed for. I mean, I think he's very associated with Chanel, but obviously was at Fendi and Chloe and all sorts of places, but I think was prolific and lived and breathed fashion. So I'm very excited to see this exhibition. Honestly, I think what makes the Met Gala so special is Anna Wintour. Her absolute dedication and commitment to the Costume Institute and, and what this does for fashion. I mean, she is devoted to it and it's really a part of her legacy and one of the extraordinary things that she's done amongst a million others. And it's incredible to be in the room, you know, everyone you sort of trip over or bump into coming out of the bathroom is some someone that's extraordinary. So it's very surreal. It's like Madame Two Swords came to life. My goal is to be somebody who has a pre-event ritual. I have never quite mastered that and I've been at this for a while now. Often it would involve a glass of something. Spaghetti bolognese. I was spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> actually, that's true. Around the that's world. That's true. only knew we, we love a spaghetti bolognese, and we did actually have one about three hours ago. It's not very glamorous, I should say, in the gym and esteem, but no. We scarf spaghetti bolognese and a glass of champagne on the way out the door. Ready with me. See you then. Bye, Bo. Bye. Bye. Bye.